let's get started. This is the time, so. <laughs> Cool, so before we're actually gonna talk about infrastructure, let's talk a bit about Wix. So for those of you who don't know our company, Wix's vision is to make the internet accessible to everyone to create their online dream. And one thing that we excel in is actually working well. The company is pretty successful. We have, um, I wanna toot my, our, own, our own horn here, but we have 180 million registered users and 5% of all the websites online are actually Wix websites. That's, that's I think billions of websites that are there. 5% of them are being created using Wix's platform. And, and by the way, this data is up to date to 2021. So I didn't have the time to actually get the data from 2022, um, but that's really awesome. And what is our secret? Why, why does Wix actually function so well? So one thing we need to understand is that Wix is not built as the average company. So we, we don't work in, the typical organization structure that you're used to. It's not like we have just, we do have a CEO naturally, but it's not like we have one CEO and a lot of department heads and everyone are trying to work together. No, if you ever created a website on Wix, just gonna stand over there. And um, one thing that you notice is you're gonna select a template and you can select that you wanna build a website, for instance, for your store, for your restaurant, to manage your events, to actually manage your, your pictures portfolio. And one thing that you should know that, that goes on behind the scenes is that each one of those products is being built by an independent company. For instance, we have a company within Wix that creates the product for Wix event, the company within Wix that creates a product for Wix restaurants, and we always try to find a way where we can work efficiently. So this, this model actually enables our teams to work as best as they can. They can work independently. They have their own engineers. They have their own product personnel. They have their own staff. So they can actually build their product as fast as possible. But one thing that we should know is that we still have a lot of developers. We have over a thousand developers working at Wix. Over a thousand developers working at Wix. A that means a lot of developers. We're good. Tree. That's my dog over there. I'm sorry. Okay. Of course. So we. So we have a lot of developers working at Wix, and those developers are spread out through multiple locations. We have developers who are working in Israel, in three cities. We have developers working in the States, developers working in Ukraine, and other sites within Europe. So we need to find a way for us to actually make sure that those developers are working as, as efficiently as possible, that those developers are not solving the same problems all the time. Because you know the same problems that we'll have within Wix stores, within Wix events, are the same problem for those developers. It could be build issues, testing issues, a lot of the things that we as developers are facing and we wanna find a way to solve this for everyone. And this is why we invest so much in infrastructure in Wix. And what is the motto? What is our mission for the infrastructure team? Our main mission is to improve developer velocity. Our goal is to make sure that we provide the best developer experience that will make our developer work much faster and ensure that they are having high, that they have high reliability in everything they're doing. So, as I, as you can probably understand, one of our main goals is velocity. And what does velocity actually means? We don't want our editor, our average developer, to be able to write more lines of <laughs> to be able to write more lines of code each day. We don't want them to actually work harder. We want to make sure that if it used to take a, a, a thousand lines to write a feature. We want to provide the best infrastructure that it will take to write a feature only 100 lines. And that increasing developer velocity that actually makes their work more efficient. We also make, want to make sure that everything we're doing is resilient. We want to make sure that we will provide tools that don't impair our quality, that everything will work well on production, that our developers can actually test everything they're doing and they'll know they provide the best product for our users. And of course, we would always want to provide the best developer experience. So everything we're building, we have to think about how our developers are going to adopt it, whether they're going to like it or not, and that we provide the best APIs. We document everything we're doing so our developers will actually want to use it and they will love what we're doing. 
So in Wix, we have not just one develop, not just one infrastructure group, we have many. First of all, we have system infrastructure. System infrastructure actually provides services to all of the developers and to the rest of the infrastructure groups. They do everything from storage to servers to networking, Tree. and they provide value to all of us. And then we have infrastructure groups. For instance, we have my group, front-end infrastructure, which is actually two groups, two groups serving over 750 developers within Wix. So we actually have developers who are constantly building tools for other developers. We have another backend infrastructure group which provides services for 400 developers in Wix and a mobile infrastructure groups provide value for 100 developers. So what are we gonna learn today? So actually trying to understand everything we do within the infrastructure teams at Wix is gonna take a long, we're gonna talk all day about this. So we actually are going to divide this to multiple meetups. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a meetup today where we're gonna to touch base on a few of the things we're doing. And if this will be a successful meetup, basically up to you guys, if you like it, we're probably gonna have multiple meetups and have some sessions to actually show everything we're doing at Wix. And what I'm gonna show right now is some of the problems that we're facing, which the infrastructure teams are actually solving. And after I'm gonna finish talking, we're gonna have some deep dives into a few of those topics. So first thing we need to solve as infrastructure is actually to enable our developers to easily boost Trick or? Trick, die. Uh, to easily bootstrap their application. We want to enable our developers to actually go from zero to hero in a matter of hours, being able to just with a click of a button, create an application with everything they need in order to get it to get their work going and even get it to production as quick as possible. Trick. We also want to have the ability for them to just have everything pre-configured to the default things they need in order to get this application into our platforms. We also always try to solve their build issues. We really try in Wix to, to not have a situation where each team has like their build export. We wanna have an infrastructure that provides the ability to have the most efficient build for each one of our application. This can mean that, you know, our build is automatically tree shakeable. Our build provides small bundles. It's being done super quickly. All these tools are being made very, very fast. We wanna make sure that our build is simple, that they don't have to configure. We don't want them to start understanding everything that goes on within Webpack, for example. We wanna provide them with a tool that just has their build pre-configured for them. And last, make sure everything they're doing runs on the latest version. We wanna make sure that our developers are using the latest build tools, all the developers in Wix are using the latest build tools to actually build their, pro their product. Testing. One thing that's very important to us is to provide tools that will enable our developers to know that whatever they're doing is being properly tested. It's gonna run well on production and even run well on production with production data once they're actually, when they're actually building their product. Wanna make sure that everything they're doing is fast. All the tests that they're actually running run super quickly. For instance, we don't want one of our developers to actually commit something and then go to the bathroom for 15 minutes and wait for the PR to become green. We want to make sure that our tests are super quick, even though Wix is a huge company with a lot of code and everything we do can affect other things. And we want to also provide some sort of capabilities to auto detect imperfections. If we have issues that we didn't expect for, we need to find a way for maybe we'll be able to detect issues that occur when we didn't expect. For instance, I don't know, changes through the UI that happened that we didn't expect. Them. Bugs or any... And I can do a deeper dive if you're familiar with, uh, with Apply Tools, familiar with this company. We have a similar product that actually detects, you know, when there are changes, when we broke, start, when we broke our UI automatically, even if we didn't test for it. Deployments. We want to make, provide the ability to all of our developers to actually gradually deploy their changes, to be able to deploy whatever they did to a segment of their users to see if everything is working and only if we are actually able to validate that our code is running well then deploy to the rest of the population. We want to enable our developers to actually preview what they did. So if I just completed a PR, I want to be able to send whichever application, whichever code I'm working on to my product, to my designer, to see if it looks good, we can actually use it. And also override whatever I want in our previews and in our production. If, for instance, I want to work with a different, a different API, a different version of my application, I should be able to override the current version I'm working on and actually use a different version. User experience. 
We can have Wix applications look different. For instance, we can't have Wix stores look different than Wix events and look different from Wix restaurants. We want to provide a way for our developers to write everything that will look, feel exactly the same. So we need to find a way to do that. We also want to find a way to, you know, to reduce code duplications. For instance, let's say we have a table and this table does infinite scrolling, this table does caching, this table has filtering, access to do to the backend. This is a lot of the same functionalities that each one of our developer has to do in order to actually get its table working. And we wanna find a way to solve this for them. Also, another thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our developers are building our site and it works everywhere. Wix is a global company. We don't want our developers to build our site and then have to start testing it for in, in Italy, start testing it in German, start testing it in Arabic and Hebrew. We wanna make sure that when they're building your site, we'll be able to provide them with the best tools for this site to work in any country. Standard at scale. One thing that's very important when you have so many developers into it is to ensure that everyone are keeping standards. For, if, for instance, if we don't want any of our developers to work with an obsolete version of React, we need to find a way to make sure that all of our code we're using runs with the best version, or at least the version we decided that's the standard. We want to have the, the ability to actually know what happens. We want to have the ability to go over thousands of repos and understand what goes on within the code bases of each one of the teams within Wix. <laughs> No, not, not, we're not a big one repo. Like Facebook, you mean? No, that's like you have. Uh, some teams have mono repos that they're, for instance, some of the companies can have a big mono repos, but most of the companies have different repos spread out. And there isn't one big mono repo for all of Wix. Um, we want to make sure that we are able to make to not to never breach any regulation. We want to make sure that none of the services we build, for instance, breaches GDPR. Uh, and we want to make sure we have the tools to verify this. We want to be able to see if there is any security issues. For instance, if some company or a few companies are using a specific version of a library that now has some vulnerability, we want to have the ability to, read, to, know, to know about this and actually eliminate the hazard. And last, performance. So. <laughs> uh, we, want to, we want to have tools. <laughs> No, it's just his team. We want to have tools that enable us to actually monitor and get alerts about everything that goes on within our applications, every error, every performance issue, and have tools that will allow us to actually analyze everything we're doing within our applications, find how our application behaves, and even generate suggestions for us to fix it. So those are a few of the problems that we have to solve within Wix. So what next? As I said, we're not going to touch based on everything today. Hopefully, we will touch throughout the time. But today, we're going to touch base on two of the topics I mentioned. First of all, we're going to have Yaniv. He's over there. He's going to talk about a sneak peek to Wix front end build tools. And we're going to have Ray Zomer right over there. And he's going to talk. He's going to do a deep dive into enforcing standards at scale. Cool. Sounds good? Awesome. <laughs>